Pork chops are one of the best food sources in Minecraft, so learn how to build this incredibly easy hoglin farm that gives you over 3,500 cooked pork chops and 300 leather an hour. To build this farm, we have to go inside of the nether dimension. The farm has built itself on the nether roof, so unfortunately this farm is only able to be built in Java edition. The first step is to explore around the nether until you find a crimson forest. As this farm has to be built in the crimson forest, or it just will not work at all. You then want to have a couple ladders, one or two ender pearls, ten obsidian, a flint and steel, as well as a pickaxe, and mine your way up to the nether roof. Then once you reach the bedrock, you want to basically mine around the bedrock, trying to get to the highest point possible that you can find. If you're at Y level 125, and the block above you is at Y level 127, then that's the highest block you can go to. You now want to place down some ladders on the sides, that you're kind of really close to this upper block of the nether roof. Then just looking sort of in the edge here between the ladder and the bedrock, throw one of the ender pearls, and you'll get a little bit hurt. Then just jump out of the bedrock here, and you are sort of stuck on the nether roof. Now what you can do if you want is break the bedrock here, but what's a much easier solution, if you're not going to be traveling to the nether roof all the time, is to simply place down some obsidian and build yourself a nether portal on the nether roof. Finish the nether portal, light it, go in it, so it links to a place in the overworld. And once you're back in the overworld, then just go through the portal again, hopefully that it links correctly and if it did link correctly we should end up on the nether roof which we did as you can see here so we now have a portal that takes us from the overworld to the nether roof on top of the portal you want to place down a block that mobs cannot spawn on so for instance some of these oak slabs could work now it's on to building the actual farm and just be sure to check your f3 menu and make sure that the area around where you are is definitely still the crimson forest this farm is really simple so these are the only items you're going to need to build it you will need 4 stacks and 19 of cobblestone slabs or some other slab, it's whatever you'd like. You're also going to want about 2 stacks of glass between the farm and the AFK platform, 64 and 41 oak trapdoors, 35 nether wart blocks, and yes these do have to be nether wart, although you could use warped wart blocks if you want as well, 40 torches, 5 warped fungus, 5 dirt, 14 signs, and a lava bucket. Or if you want raw pork chops, you could do 14 soul lanterns instead of the 14 oak signs and the lava bucket. Then you're going to want for your storage system at least 18 hoppers and 12 chests, as well as some temporary blocks, and for the AFK platform, about 9 glass and 2 stacks of scaffolding. Start by grabbing the glass, the chests, the hoppers, the lava bucket, and the signs, and start your farm wherever you'd like. Place down 2 chests that are opposite each other, and then place chests on top of those and also on top of those so that we have two rows of double chests that are three blocks tall then place hoppers facing into the back of all of these double chests so that we have two lines of hoppers then place six hoppers going out of the back of these two hoppers so that we have an area that the hoglins will fall into and capture their loot from place a temporary block in this corner and over here and then place glass off of the side of the dirt and make the glass go three blocks tall so that this area is fully surrounded and this sort of glass cage. Now you can break both of the temporary blocks and at this point you can decide whether or not you want leather and cooked pork chop or leather and raw pork chop. If you want raw pork chop then place a soul campfire on top of each one of these hoppers. The reason why we're using soul campfires is that they kill the hoglins twice as fast as standard campfires and they will give us an uncooked pork chop. This could be a good option if you let's say want to be trading with some villagers, some butchers, but outside of that it's usually better to do the other method, which is to place signs on every single one of the glass blocks down here, so that there's a one block tall space that does not have any lava that could be there, and then on either side simply place down a lava bucket just like this, that's going to flow down over all of this and the hoglins will land in there, they'll die, but their drops will be collected as a cooked variant. That's the killing chamber done, on to the area where the hoglins will spawn, grab all of the cobblestone slabs as well as your temporary blocks, dirt blocks, warped fungus and torches. Also, I would definitely suggest picking up the lava here in the farm just for now so that you do not by accidentally die in there, as that can definitely happen. Now pick one of the corners of the farm and place down a temporary block 
And off of that, you want to place cobblestone slabs that go seven blocks this way. We can break that temporary block and place a slab there. So on the upper block here, the cobblestone slabs go seven blocks. Then from the other way, they'll go out from their eight blocks. So we have a total of a seven by eight block platform of cobblestone slabs. Now that we have this seven by eight block platform at the very middle back of the platform, you want to break a block and place down a piece of dirt. Then on top of that, put a warped fungus. And with the torches, put them one block away on either side from the warped fungus, then two blocks away in this direction, so we have a pattern like this, and also two blocks away here, put the torches. This will enable it so that every single block on the platform here is at light level 12 or higher, meaning that no piglins will spawn. And so it's sort of like a pattern that includes the warped fungus here, where we have the torches one block apart in one of the directions and two blocks apart in the other direction, with the warped fungus sort of matching up with that pattern of torches. Then build up three temporary blocks, and on the side of the third one, place down a cobblestone slab. You can then remove the temporary blocks, and basically repeat the exact same 7x8 platform shape above this, so that it's exactly two and a half blocks above the platform below it. And just like the one below it, also break the block at the back here, and place down a piece of dirt, a warped fungus, and the torch pattern. And now that we've done this twice, you just want to repeat the exact same thing for a total of five platforms, each of them two and a half blocks above the other one. So we'll build that right now. And those are the spawning platforms done. Then grab the rest of the glass, the nether wart blocks, and the oak trapdoors. Take your remaining 60 glass and split them in half, then place 30 of them on this side, basically going straight upwards in a big column here. So you have none left, and it goes just two blocks above the top bit of cobblestone here. And repeat that same thing on the other side. This will basically make it so that the hoglins do not fall off of the farm, but they just go down the kill chamber without having anything be wasted. Now that you've done that exactly opposite the slabs at the bottom of the farm here, you want to place a row of seven of the nether wart blocks, and off of those you want to place oak trapdoors, and flip them down making sure that they close like this. Also do the exact same thing on the cobblestone trapdoors on this side as well, and place some temporary blocks till you're parallel with the next row, and basically repeat the exact same thing, placing down seven of the nether wart blocks and also putting oak trap doors over here. If you're wondering why we're using nether wart blocks, it's because the mobs will try and pathfind to them, but the mobs cannot actually spawn on them, so it's perfect because with glass they won't pathfind to it as much, but with a fully solid block they would just spawn on there and it would ruin the farm's rates. And we'll finish up the last row of the nether wart blocks here, also placing down the trap doors. Basically every single mob in Minecraft thinks of a trap door as a block that they can walk over, and so because of that the mobs will sort of see this as something they can walk over, but they won't see it as this where they can fall down and die. Now place a row of temporary blocks up here on the very top, and just on each one of them place down an oak trapdoor once you break those. We can flip these downwards and keep them right there. Go down one level in the farm so that there is one platform above us, and then on the very bottom of these trapdoors, place some more trapdoors right here. And we want to close those, and this will make it so that the mobs cannot walk onto the other side successfully, they'll always fall down. And then just repeat this for every side below, making sure that there is this double thick row of the trapdoors, and also making sure to flip them down. And we'll head down to the final platform and place them right here, so that now each one of these gaps should be fully filled with the trapdoors on these two blocks, with just the one air gap here. And you can now place the lava back in the farm, so that it's covered just on top of all of these signs here. The final step is just to build the AFK platform, get out all of your scaffolding and the glass blocks, and just maybe two or three blocks away from the farm, and use all of that scaffolding so that it goes all the way to the top of the world. Just break the top two or three scaffolding, and then go forward with those towards the direction of the farm, go out onto the edge, place down a glass block, and place a 3 by 3 platform of those glass blocks. You can keep this scaffolding here if you want or not, and then you can basically AFK by going on the top of the platform here, and so quickly already, because this is a very simple farm, this hogland farm is done. And right here you can see it actively working, the hoglins will spawn on those platforms, they'll be scared by the warped fungus, and then they'll run into where the lava is. Of course, because they're on fire when they die, their pork chops will be cooked if you did use the lava method. And this farm produces over 3,500 cooked pork chops and 300 leather in an hour. And after just a very small amount of AFKing, you can see we already have an insane amount of cooked pork
pork chops, as well as leather. I hope you enjoyed this efficient hogland farm in Minecraft that I fully designed myself. If you did, be sure to press the like button and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one, and have a great day. Goodbye!